So now we know we're at top dead center on the intake stroke or the compression stroke and we know we're set in the right place. We'll need to use a feeler gauge basically just to set the clearances of the valves. Now it's very difficult to tell exactly what to do here but if you just get a feeler gauge the intake wants to be a six thousandth of an inch and the exhaust is eight thousandths of an inch so you just need a feeler gauge, it's not very expensive to buy. But as you can just about see here what we're trying to set is this tiny little gap here. Now as you can tell that feeler gauge goes in and it just drags along there which is six thousandths of an inch and that's perfectly set right for this machine. Also I've checked the exhaust one as well and that's eight thousandths of an inch. Now that's correct for this machine, this one's actually set up correctly although I will show you how to adjust them in a minute just in case they're slack or they're too tight or maybe it's been knocked. Now one other thing just to mention before we start this is just before you take the cover off, make sure that it hasn't hit anything because if it's been bent in, it could stop these valves just from opening and closing properly. So that's just an idea just to show you the, uh, the specification really. Just wants to drag just like that, so in a second I'll show you how to adjust them. If you've just got a nice drag with a feeler gauge in six thousandths and eight thousandths of an inch, you know you're somewhere near of setting these valves correctly. So with that said, and you can see basically how small a gap it is and you know really how precise it, it does need to be if they haven't been done for a few years. I'll show you how to adjust these valves. On the Honda mowers, as you can see here, we have a, a locking nut here. This is basically on the back, which I'm going to undo with this spanner in a minute. That is basically a locking nut. So if you undo that, that just unlocks it so we can set the valve. And on the front here, you can see it's basically a square and that adjusts the gap. Now there is a special tool that Honda do for basically setting up these valves but I'm not sure how expensive it is but all you really need to do is once you've basically undone your locking nut you can just use a pair of pliers and you can go clockwise which will basically tighten it up and anti-clockwise which will slacken it off so once you've undone the locking nut and you've just backed it off slightly as you can see here I just can't get the feeler gauge in there really that's eight thousandths of an inch so if I just back that off a touch more you can see the feeler gauge just starts to just starts to drag with it in the gap. Once it just starts to drag, and you just tighten it up a little bit, as you can see there. Just tighten it up a little bit, making sure it's nice and secure. And all you need to do is, after that is just take your spanner, just basically lock it back up. That's it. So undo the locking bolt, adjust it. As you can see there, I've got a nice gap and a nice drag, and that just tightens the feeler gauge up there. Basically, if it's too slack, your feeler gauge will wobble about, as this one doesn't. And if it's too tight, you won't get the gauge in. So, if you feel it's got a nice drag on like that, it's eight thousandths of an inch, you can be sure that it's set correctly. You do the same on the other valve, you don't need to rotate anything else once you've found top dead centre. Set them both at the same time six thousandths of an inch, eight thousandths of an inch. Simply undo the locking nut, adjust it using a pair of pliers or whatever you can lay your hands on, really. You don't need a special tool. Just undo it, set it, find your clearances, get a nice drag lock it back up, six thousandths on the intake, eight thousandths of an inch on the exhaust valve and that's basically how you set the exhaust and intake valves on the Honda Petrol lawnmowers with an overhead cam.